Hello, hello, and happy Thursday, <clears throat> and happy Facebook Live time. My name is Melissa Kerman, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I've been a demonstrator for 18 years, over 18 years. I love paper crafting, and I love sharing it, so that's why I'm here today, to share some fun crafting ideas with you today. So, um, the focus today is going to be two sneak peek projects from the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle. And um, I do this once a month uh, where I show you two of the projects that are included in uh, the tutorial bundle for that month. The theme this month is the um, Nature's Harvest or Harvest Meadow Suite, I guess is what it's called, um, which is one of my favorites. And most of the projects are, uh, that are in the tutorial bundle feature that particular suite, um, but there are a few other things as well. So I'm gonna show you what is included in those. So some of the other things we're gonna do tonight, I got a couple of announcements. We've got a winner from two weeks ago that I'm going to announce. Uh, we got a new prize that I'm gonna give away today. Actually two, I'm gonna give away two, two things today. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. So I am gonna launch right in. Um, I see people joining, yay, hi Karen, hi Christy. Uh, I know I've missed some names, I apologize. Hi Mary Beth, so good to see you. <clears throat> it seems these days whenever I go online I get a, 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 a thing in my throat. <laughs> Go figure, right? Hopefully it's going to stop. All right, so um, announcements today. I have a bunch to share, but I'm going to try to make it super quick. I'm going to speed talk. Um, as some of you may know, uh, the registration for Makers Mojo Creative Escape, the one in October, is now open. Super excited about this event because it falls on World Card Making Day. Hi, Lisa Hoffman. So good to see you here. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi, Suzanne. Um, Anyway, so this event is a big event. This will be my third one. I did one in January, another one in July, and this one now in October. But again, it falls on World Card Making Day. So it just, it's just, we've added some features. It's gonna be super fun, and I have five presenters instead of four last time and three the time before. Um, so there'll be 10 um, presentations, project presentations. Uh, super awesome, super awesome demonstrators. Some of the same from last time, some new ones, um, kind of all based upon av availability. Uh, but it's awesome presenters for sure. Uh, let's see what else. So we're going to have a few, a few different things. So one thing we're going to have at this event is bingo. So we're going to have more prizes than we've ever had before uh, just to make it fun. Uh, we may have some added games and other activities and, you know, whatever challenges. We'll see. Um, and let's see what else. And to get you guys actually making cards on that day, um, we are gonna provide a little bit of information ahead of time, which we have not done in the past. Hi, Kimmy, hi, Angel. <laughs> um, now, I am not, this is not a stamp along. I'm gonna say that. You have to be like super fast to really be able to keep up with the presentations. They're not designed to be slow because it would, you know, everybody works at a different pace. But we are gonna give those of you, we're gonna give all of you actually this tool to help you uh, start, um, doing some crafting with us, either a little bit during, maybe a little bit between presentations, um, but you'll be poised and ready to, to stamp um, either during the event or, sh or right after. So lots of lots of fun, and I've already st started my designs and I'm loving them, so I'm super excited to share that event. So there are details on my website in my newsletter um, that came out yesterday. There's details, so go check it out there. And on my, on my website, under the Classes and Events tab, the first choice is Maker's Mojo, so go and check it out. All right, what else can I tell you? What else do I need to tell you today? Okay, so we have um, a winner of last week's prize. So I, uh, I'm giving away the two cards that I made two weeks ago and two week, the presentation two weeks ago, which were made with the Delicate Dahlias stamp set, the two projects. And the winner is, you guys ready? I'm doing my own drum roll. <laughs> I have not seen her name flash by, but she might still be here or she might join us later. The winner is Jan Moore. She's a regular, regular on my Facebook Live. So congratulations, Jan. I will be sending you those two cards made with Delicate Dahlia's set. Um, now today, the prize I'm gonna, I'm gonna give away the cards I'm making today, so that's part of what I'm gonna give away. But I'm gonna give it to two different people. So I, I did two cards last time, one person got them this time. Two different people are gonna get you know, one of each, one card. Uh, so I'm gonna have a hashtag for you to choose which one you would like the most. Um, you'll need to use that hashtag in the presentation. It's actually gonna be uh, hashtag pretty pumpkins <laughs> or hashtag 
Harvest Meadow. So I've given you a hint. Um, two different projects. One sort of, you know, features the pretty pumpkins bundle and the other one features the Harvest Meadow uh, suite. So uh, keep that in mind and I will have the hashtags on the screen in just in a minute. Um, now I'm also, in addition to sending uh, the winners the, the card, I'm also going to give the winners the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle for um, the September tutorial bundle. So for those of you who are not familiar with it, um, we do, a we have, I have a design team, 12 designers, um, and I am one of them. And we have, uh, so there's 12 projects in the tutorial bundle, generally pretty simple, focused on a theme or a certain segment of the mini catalog. This is, again, Harvest Meadow is the focus, but there are some other projects um, in, in and around similar same pages. So I'm going to show you them in just a minute. But most of them are focused on Harvest Meadow. Um, so yeah, so, the, so, so uh, you can get that tutorial bundle for free. I mean, I'm going to give it to two people you know, from tonight. Um, but you can get it for free with a $35 or more order when you place one on my online store with the host code. Um, my team members automatically get it free every single month and this is a great time to join if you're at all interested in um, uh, becoming a demonstrator and that doesn't mean you ever have to present or demonstrate to anybody you can be your own best customer a lot of people do it that way um, and I do need to tell you and I just realized it's not even in my notes I'm doing a special event it was advertised in my newsletter specifically for people that have questions about joining Stampin' Up! Um, so buying the starter kit, what it's all like all about to be a demonstrator, it's not going to be any sort of pressure, just some presentations, just information, and we're going to have lots of prizes and giveaways um, during this event. So uh, if there's any reason it, I want to entice you to come, it's, you know, just hear some good information about what it's like to be a demonstrator and you may win some prizes too. So that is going to be on Sunday the 19th of September. I'm trying to do it before celebration is over because there is a special um, starter kit opportunity this during celebration. So it's the regular awesome deal. And then you also get to pick among 12 different bundles. You can pick a free bundle with your starter kit if you join during celebration. So um, that uh, event to learn about being a demonstrator, again, on the 19th of um, uh, of September <laughs> this month so join us it will be fun so uh, okay let's see what else um, I think that's it that's it for my announcements oh good I'm, I'm at least under 10 minutes <laughs> wanted to keep those announcements quick all right let's go uh, get started with the um, the project for today so I'm gonna turn my camera facing the other direction facing down in my workspace and I'll show you what we're gonna be um, what I'm going to be showing you today and then also what the tutorial bundle um, uh, includes as well just a little bit all right so the two things that I'm using for my first project are these the gorgeous leaves pretty pumpkins um, the first project is going to be um, something that was designed by Sandra Hernandez who is on the design team of course I love what she made so I'm excited to share the project and um, her project features this um, pretty pumpkins bundle so the set itself and then it has a set of dies as well my my absolute favorite image is that one I just adore it I just think it's so delicate and pretty I love that pumpkin so we're gonna go crazy with that pumpkin today <laughs> so there are let's see there's just one project in the tutorial bundle that features that one Harvest Meadow is the main focus, so most of the projects are made with the designer paper or this the ribbon, all this this lovely, lovely, beautiful set of products. My and my project is made with Harvest Meadow, and there it is up close, the stamp set, and the dies are just amazing. I love these dies. I know those are tiny. I'll show you the real thing in just a minute. Um, and then a few people uh, did projects with this wreath and the wreath dies. So really nice um, tutorial bundle this month. Oh, and I forgot to say, you actually can buy the tutorial bundles too. So um, you get the one that's free in the month that you place an order or my team gets it for free, but you can also go back and purchase them. Uh, and those are on the classes and events tab at the very bottom. So you'll see a, a t um, an option to select tutorials. All right, so this is another one. Somebody used that cute little image in their project. So just a little sneak peek into what's included in that tutorial bundle. All right, so let's take a look at today's first project. I'm going to put the hashtag on the screen. So that's those are the two hashtags you're going to use. So you get to choose, do you like pretty pumpkins, 
more this cute pumpkins or are you more of a harvest meadow uh, woman or man <laughs> I showed it just a minute ago right um, I have the stamp set I have to show you that one let's see let's go over here so harvest meadow is that beautiful set I love it and there are also these dies the harvest dies I love these. This also coordinates with the, um, what is it, the Quiet Meadow um, bundle also. So just love all these die cut shapes. And we are going to be using one of those in today's project. All right, so hashtag Pretty Pumpkins. Are you a pumpkin girl or are you a Harvest Meadow girl or boy? <laughs> Don't want to exclude the boys if they're out there. All right, or the men. <laughs> so we'll just leave that there so you guys can see it. And let me show you the first project. So this is Sandra Hernandez's project. And again, uses pretty pumpkins and the gorgeous leaves. We're only using that um, little speck type image uh, for this project. So it's mostly all about the pretty pumpkins. And that is the project we're making. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. Just shout out, do you love it? Okay, so and when you do it, make sure to use the hashtag. So hashtag and then one continuous word, Harvest Meadow, okay? Don't forget the hashtag. Oh, I see some, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Good job, people. <laughs> all right. Okay, so yes, we're gonna do this project, all heat embossing. I promise I've done some of it ahead of time, so we're not sitting here listening to me heat emboss all day long. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. So what I'm going to start with is a piece of crumb cake cardstock, and I'm going to use this little image, the specs from the Gorgeous Leaves set. I also love the Gorgeous Leaves set, and um, I have not used it at all except for this image, and it's a beautiful set with beautiful leaves. I'm a total leaf lover. I love leaves of all kinds. So uh, that uh, I have some playing to do. So speaking of playing, I played a lot this weekend. I had a lot of fun. And uh, I took pictures of my messy craft space just for fun. Oh, Mary Beth, you're a pretty pumpkin girl. How fun. <laughs> oh, and MJ too. I've mostly been seeing the Harvest Meadow. So, okay, so let's just take care of this. We're gonna do it like all over. Let's do what we call speed stamping. Just do it super fast. We'll do some second inking as well. Just getting some texture in behind there, right? Simple, easy peasy. And I'm gonna go ahead and sponge the edges of this cardstock as well. And I should have my blending brush, but you know, this is what was out, my sponge. And I can just Get some nice color on the edge. Oh, I'm shaking the table, aren't I? Try not to do that. Make you guys dizzy. Thank you for sharing, Chris. I forgot to ask you guys to share. Please do, whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube, please share with your friends. Um, now, I also want to hear from you guys. Did you have trouble finding me going live? Um, I did this as an event this time because I've heard it's supposed to be better for whatever reason. I don't really know why. Um, <laughs> so I decided to do that, and here we go. I'm, gonna, I'm opening this again, third time, because I'm, for, I'm forgetting my steps. Jan Moore is here. Does anybody want to tell Jan? Did you hear Jan? Did you hear the news? Somebody tell Jan. <laughs> Let you guys do it. Okay, sponging the edges. Hi, Patricia. So good to see you here. <laughs> I know you keep asking me to go to YouTube, Sally, but it requires that I have to learn a new thing. YouTube Live. I'm a little bit scared of it. I know. I know I can learn it. You didn't hear the news. Okay. I don't see anybody saying it, so I might just have to tell you. <laughs> you remember last time's hashtag? It was... Uh, Hashtag celebration favorite, favorite celebration item. Well, guess what? You won the drawings. You won the cards that I made a couple weeks ago. Congratulations. I hope you're excited. <laughs> I was excited for you when I drew your name. 
always fun. I use random.org, so, you know, it's very, it's very all fair, you know. All right, so, now, my, um, what I have to do next is I am going to heat emboss on six different colors. So one of them is Blackberry Bliss, Bliss. So let's start with that. Use my embossing buddy. And I know most of you out there probably know how to do this, but just felt compelled to show the process. So I've got my Versamark ink, which is a clear sticky ink. I've used my embossing buddy on the surface of the cardstock, so it's an anti-static, so my powder doesn't stick where it doesn't belong. And then I'm just gonna put it into my gold embossing powder. And it's magically sticks to it. Oh, no problem finding me? Oh, good, wonderful. Oh, I'm glad you're excited, Jan. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, and when I first set up the event, I went to go try to invite people because I figured it would be easier to find it if I um, invited, uh, you know, people who are regulars. And Facebook was doing this weird funky thing where it wouldn't let me do it. And I was getting an error message, and I tried three times and spent way too much time trying to do it. And then I sort of gave up. And then it worked a little bit later. So I think yesterday I invited a bunch of people and it worked. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and heat this, but I'm not really going to heat it because it's already done. <laughs> I've already done it, so, but I would be heating it. For those of you who've never done heat embossing, it's a magical thing to watch it, but I'm just trying to save time. So this is the one that was done on the Blackberry Bliss, so it's finished now. It goes from being that dusty, powdery to the shiny, beautiful. You see? I just love it. It looks so pretty in the, in the light. So now I'm just going to go ahead and lay these all out. So I've got six colors, like I said, and I'm going to lay it out on this layer right here. You guys seeing the hashtags? <laughs> Don't forget. So I've got adhesive on the back sides of my pieces already, and I'm just going to place these out. I'm not going to press them down because I kind of want to get my spacing first. Some of them are hanging off the edge of the page. As you can see, just that there's sort of a nice irregularness to the pattern. Okay, and now, okay, so colors. Pumpkin pie, Cajun craze, that's the um, Blackberry Bliss. This one is Rich Razzleberry. You can see a little bit better on the back side. Got a cheese on the back side. That one's sort of off the page a little bit. And, oh, I'm sorry, no, that's, that's the Blackberry Bliss. That is Mary Merlot. It's very whiny reddish. Um, this is the Blackberry Bliss, more purpley. Okay, let's see how my spacing is there. So, as you can tell, like, I... I had to do the heat embossing for this. Six, you know, six times two, because <laughs> I finished the other one, of course, ahead of time. So that was quite a lot. It was quite a lot of heat embossing. But you guys are worth it. <laughs> and the project is so pretty that I just couldn't resist. So I'm bringing in my cutter here. Um, this is an old cutter that Stampin' Up! used to sell. Uh, but I love it. It's actually perfect because I can actually hold my finger against the paper. I think I'll do this side and get it up against that edge. I, I don't have any straight edge here, so I can just easily press it against that edge. Now I could use the scissors to cut this off, but I love the precision of my cutter. I didn't quite get all of that off on the left side. You have to look at it off to the right. There we go. Now I've got a straight edge to work with, and I'm using my finger against the part, <coughs> excuse me, against the part that doesn't have anything there, so I can get my edge where it needs to go. Cut off my excess. I was thinking, is there something I could do with these pieces I'm cutting off, you know? But they're all kind of odd shapes and stuff, so it might be a little bit tough. They just have to go into the garbage bin 
No scrap salad for these babies. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Nicely trimmed off. All right. Toss those away. Okay, so next I've got a sentiment piece. I'm going to show you my finished, right? So this um, was heat embossed in the gold. Love that sentiment. If friends were pumpkins, I'd pick you. Isn't that sweet? I think it's so sweet. And I have gone ahead and heat embossed it ahead of time on this strip. I'm pretty sure this is one inches wide. And I'm going to um, put on one dimensional on here, just enough, a small one, to hold it in place while I cut it. So I'm going to just kind of put it right there in the middle. Get it kind of lined up. Oh, you know what? I have to stamp it first. I have stamping to do. All right, so I'm going to use these itty bitty leaves. Now this is from the Gorgeous Leaves set. I, I, I lied. I did use a second image in that set. And I'm going to use Cajun Craze on the pumpkin pie, which I think looks really nice. And I just kind of did the leaves a little bit all over the place. I really like them. I'm going to be cutting some of that off, so. Probably doesn't have to go all the way to the edge, but I don't exactly know where I'm going to be cutting it off, so just doing the whole thing. There we go. Okay, now back to what I was doing. So I've got my focal piece here, so I'm just going to line that up. I want it to sort of straddle this kind of dead space in there. And I want my sentiment justified just a little bit to the right. I want to leave a little extra room over here for my, um, for my bow, because I've got a little bow to put in there. So there we go. Again, I could use the scissors, but being as I am, I like my cutter. And this time I have a straight edge to work with, so I can just trim that off and trim it off on this side. So it's just holding it in place just enough that one dimensional so that I can do that and get it in the right spot. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and fill that up with dimensionals in behind. And I like to put them in the recess spots. Now, of course, I have that little itty bitty one. I think I'm going to take the little itty bitty one off. It served its purpose. Get that right in there, and then I'm eyeballing where my open spots are. Let's see if that one, yep, yeah, that looks good. Another one up against the edge. Oh, good, you've got a notification, Charlotte. I'm so glad to know. Yay. It's so nice when things actually work. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to cut off one small bit of edge because I need a piece to go right in here. I think that'll be covered. Yes. Okay, let's get this in here. And just line it up with the edges again. Now I did make one small adjustment to my card and it was largely because I was, I, I literally have no soft suede cardstock and um, Sandra used a small thin layer of soft suede around this layer. I chose to do my sponging to give it a little bit of an edge. It's very subtle uh, because I didn't have any. I have none. I literally have none. <laughs> I used it for the technique class that we just did um, like every last piece. Crazy, right? All right, so next I'm going to do my bow and do some dimensionals. So it's the dimensionals are going to go in behind. I have already sponged the edges, and I'm going to do my little trick with my air bow. So I've got three pieces of linen thread that are all the same length, and I don't know how long that is, maybe eight inches, three pieces, and I'm just going to do those little dog ears and 
fold it over. Like that. And then you guys know I like to use my little pencils. Anybody who watches me, you know my pencil trick to help control the shape of the ears, the size of the ears, and the tightness of the bow. So there we go. I can make it as big or as little as I want, and it allows me to kind of train my tails because I can pull them down. You see I'm pulling them down, but I'm not messing the shape of the ears when I do that because I've got my pencils in there. All right, so then that's just going to go ahead and get attached. I like it to be sort of on an angle. And I'll do the rest of that off camera. So there it is. Voila. Pretty much exactly the same. Who loves it? I do. <laughs> I love these pumpkins. I just, when I told you, this is my favorite image in the set. And when I saw Sandra's project, oh, yay, thank you for a heart, somebody. <laughs> I love getting hearts. Um, uh, when I saw it, it was like, oh my gosh, six of those pumpkins. I love them. I have to make that card. Uh, I will show you one other thing. This was on my uh, blog on, uh, was it Monday? I think it was Monday the 6th, our Color Fusers blog hop. I did this project. So I've done this one other thing with that pumpkin set, the pretty pumpkins. I love it. Oh, yay. Thank you for hearts. Makes me so happy. <laughs>